now you're like, okay, this is fine and dandy, David, but whenever they execute this code, they're going to have to go to the source code, open up Eclipse, and change this value. And they're going to have to know that they only change this value. They don't change, like, this value or this value. So how do I make it run and change this value, quote unquote, on the fly? Well, I'll show you that right now. First thing you need to do is you need to create a scanner. So scanner, and we're going to call this my input. And we're going to set it equal to a new scanner. And so right now we're creating a, an object. It's called a scanner. And I'll get more into objects and object-oriented programming later. But we're going to create a new scanner. And inside of here, we're going to put system dot in dot uh, just system dot in. That's all we need. And it's like, hey, you haven't inputted. You need to import scanner because it doesn't really. It lives in a different file than we have access to. So to give us access to that file, we just type in this code right here, or you double click on one of these guys. That menu pops up, and you click that thing real slick. So what do you do from here? Well, let's take this number, which is the main number we're focused at, where we mainly care about. I'm just gonna swap this in for my input input dot next integer. And when we run this, look how see nothing's happened down here. It's waiting for it's waiting for some uh, data. So we'll type in 123. We push enter. Hey, the number is odd, and the program terminated. You can see it right here, terminated. So that's great. And if we run it again, now we can put in 67. Hey, the number is odd. Run it again. Zero. This can't get boring at all. Uh, hey, the number is even. Uh, zero. Either even or odd. And run it again one more time. Two. Hey, the number must be even. All right, that was real fun. Great. Um, so what happens when some guy just comes along and just doesn't know what he's doing? Pushes S. S isn't an integer. Okay. Well, it crashes. So that's just great. Uh, I'll I'll show you later how to like keep it from crashing. But let's just. Let's just hope our guy has like a little the uh, the end user our client so it's a little bit smarter than the average than the average consumer so good luck with that um, so we're just gonna put siso control space and inside of here we're gonna we're gonna just type in uh, please type a and then we're gonna emphasize number number. Uh, even more specific than that, let's do an integer. An integer. And we're going to run that in. So now it, now it gives us a, a formal prompt. Be like 34. Hey, the number must be even. Great. Uh, so now you're like, okay, great, David. It works in my little world right here. But how do I work it outside of the world? So for that, we just want to open up command prompt. And thanks to Windows 8, I have no clue where anything is. Uh, command prompt. We'll start as an admin, wherever it is. Sorry, one sec. All right. So now we've got to change CD to the desktop. Um, we'll just mosey on over there. Um, and then if you type in, CD just stands for change directory. So right now this is your file the file system, and we're just we're just move, moving on around using CD. And uh, if you don't know what's going on, and or if you can't see anything, just type in dir dir stands for directory, and it'll show you the different directories you have. So see how we have David. So now we want a CD to D, and if you push tab, it'll it'll spell the rest for you, and then push enter. So now we're in David dir again. And if it's getting really cluttered, just CLS. Those are all commands. And dir again. Now I just want to CD to um, where we put this, our desktop. And then CD to David workspace. Perfect. It even puts the quotes. How look? How lucky are we? And dir again. CD hello world. Uh, it'll take care of that. Dir again. 
And now you're like, ah, oh, I don't know what any of this means. Remember, SRC stands for source code. So we don't want to execute the source code. We want to execute the actual project, which has been compiled in our uh, using Eclipse and the JDK, or not the JRE, probably the J, J, uh, JRE, JDK is for client, uh, or yeah, JRE. So um, now we're going in hello world, so now we'll CD it to the bin. So for binaries, dir again, CLS, because I'm getting cluttered, uh, dir, and see hello world. So I think this is where we do some Java. So type in Java, and now we're going to give us some arguments. Hello world, which we can see hello world right up here is our package. And then there's, underneath that, we have tutorial.java. So if you just type in dot tutorial, please, up oh, see, it's talking to us. Just please type an integer, 23. Hey, the number is odd. So that's great. Our hello world thing's working perfectly. Um, remember, when you type in Java, type in the package name and then the class underneath. Uh, if you try and CD into the into the package, you can, but it won't let you execute the uh, it won't let you execute this. So now you're like, okay, I want to put it on a friend's computer. So we'll just use we'll just use this fancy thing, fancy fancy thing. Uh, so we'll open up our workspace, go to hello world, binary, we'll just take this hello world thing, copy, paste, and inside of here you'll see a class, and you'll be like, hey David, what gives? Um, in here it's called dot java, and over here it's uh, dot class. Well dot class just means that it's been compiled into a uh, Java friendly code, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. So right now we're in binary, and we want to get all the way back to desktop. So we'll just cd dot dot cd dot dot cd dot dot, and the dot 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 just means go back up one. And then we'll directory again. And ah, oh, I just have a lot of crap on my desktop. So we're looking for hello world. Got some Minecraft, some menu stem, cd hello world dot tutorial. Uh, did I spell that right? Oh yeah, I can't see do this. I need a Java this. Hello world dot tutorial. And there was an error. Tutorial, capitalized. Ah, oh, there we go. Dang capitals. Um, place, please type an integer. Eighty-nine. Hey, the number is odd. All right, so now kind of got our application working at a couple different places, and now you can put it on friends' computers. And as long as they have the JDK installed, they should be able to do command prompt with the whole Java thing. <clears throat> So in our next tutorial, we'll kind of start branching off and learn some different things. Um, so I hope you found uh, this tutorial really interesting, and I'll catch you around.